Uh, meanwhile, Twin Cities hospitals have seen the opposite. They have treated more than 30 people for frostbite in less than a week. With the wind chills that we've had, that can happen in just about 30 minutes. The extreme cold is especially dangerous for folks who don't have a home. Our Rich Chapman gives us an intimate inside look at how people living at one Minneapolis camp stay warm and stay alive. It's a story you'll see only on WCCO. Camp Nina Kasi was shut down by the city of Minneapolis. And on that same day, most of the people living there moved a few blocks away to this lot in the city south side. About 110 residents that still stay here at Nenokasi after the eviction. For the past five months, Nicole Mason has followed people who live in this encampment. Then two months ago, she moved in to truly learn what is needed and to show that like what is good enough for my people is good enough for me, um, and that we're safe here. Nicole knows the road ahead will be rough. 98% of the people that live here are currently using, I'd say 90% are using fentanyl. She is proud that in the last five months, there have been no deaths from overdose here. She says Narcan has saved 30 lives. This is our prayer fire, so um, people can come and sit. They can put tobacco, put some cedar in there, say some prayers for the camp. The majority of the people living here are native, and this is sacred ground. This encampment is in ceremony 24 7. More than 110 people live inside this homeless encampment in about 20 yurts. They say this is their family, and they gather here for safety. Photojournalist Chris Cruz and I were invited inside Nicole's yurt. We were met immediately with the strong smell of burning firewood and the warmth it produced. But you can see it's got like hot coals inside. And so then you just put your wood in. Nicole agrees with many recovery specialists that this is not a homeless issue, it's an addiction issue. Treatment or well being sessions are held daily. We also um, provide preloaded Narcans in safe spots where it won't become frozen. <laughs> While they work to heal people, plans are in the works for a new treatment center. But they named it the Healing Center, and it's going to be a cultural based treatment center with lodging here in the city. But until then, this is home for a community searching for healing. Myself and my friends, we're not going anywhere. Reg Chapman, WCCO News. The city has brought them portable toilets and places to put garbage. There isn't any word on if the city will clear that new camp.